What's up, everyone? My name is Jackson, and welcome to the SVDP Show. I'm here with my co-host, Arshia Karami, and today we're going to be interviewing some very wonderful people today. We're going to be interviewing Graydon Klein of 9N and Nicholas Masson of 9N. Are you serious right now? Hey, Jim. <laughs> 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 so so uh first of all we're gonna start off serious and then we'll get a bit goofy so yeah. i just gotta say a lot of people have been split up this year but it's gonna be fine we're gonna have a good year hopefully and i'm glad that you know we got our old teachers back we got miss lafay for health and mr d for la but yeah I personally love all the teachers, like, you know, love them as teachers. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas, what about you, man? What about me? Yeah. Well, I think it's a great thing that we have the same teachers. We kind of know their teaching style. Okay, moving we on. So, could we, um... <laughs> <laughs> so, could we... <laughs> Um, so, in our class Discord chat, which I think we need a new one, don't you guys agree? So dead. There's been an argument about Ooh. someone's secret, you know, crush. And it's been exposed. And today we brought on Nicholas, you know, a staple of love and failed love and just women in general. Uh, but but I just finished my point for a second. Uh, okay, Nicholas, could you tell yeah, us how there's no shame in having crushes? But there really is no shame in having crushes. As an expert on women, <laughs> uh, I have had a couple of crushes. And oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> They don't always work out, but you know what? There, there will be that one day where you may find the right, the right girl. You know, as Cristiano, Just marry a gold digger. <laughs> as Cristiano Ronaldo once said, "You miss one hundred percent of the shots you don't take." That was when Gretzky. Okay, uh, yeah. school has just started, and summer's fresh in our mind. So let's oh, yes. bring up some of those summer stories, and we've hanged out a lot since we're in the same friend group. You guys okay, let's talk about Arshia's toe. So, oh. it all started... Oh, wait, wait. Do you want to show the imagery? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> so, I can't so, show it. So, his camera quality is pretty bad, but no offense, no offense. I don't think you could see it very well, but there was... A distinct black mark on his right or left big uh, toe uh, toe right right big toe then this means only one thing our very own marcus akari at edward sharp's <laughs> a 45 pound dumbbell on his big toe yeah it, it's uh, I, I feel he was lucky to even survive uh i got, got bruised and originally i take it out with surgery like they were gonna cut take out the part of the nail that was bad but thankfully things work out and i i didn't need a surgery but talking about marcus's or edward's house we gotta talk about oh. the little magician himself yes edward sharp nicholas do you wanna start the story the story The story of... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shall we talk about the story of my toe? No, 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 no. Uh, the Edward story. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, yeah, you know, it was just a normal day. You know? But, uh... Things ever normal when you have Edward around. That's true. That's true. One time we were at his house for a party. And he left his computer open. Bad idea, Edward. And we were 
of curious as to what was on his search history. Oh, well, Arshia, the bratty, look up. P word. <laughs> What's the P word? Popcorn. I will not say it. Oh, it's porn, guys. In uh, case you didn't explicit know. Explicit content. But yeah, Arshia. Search and then, that's a, bro, I'm speaking. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right, keep uh, on going. Nick. What happened was, it was Arshia. And then, then of course, no, I'm speaking. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jackson's yeah, saying it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> Okay, so so yeah, Arshia was searching up um explosive content on Edward's device. And yeah. Edward, obviously not knowing about safe search, no, 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 no he not did. knowing he did. About, about deleting his, he didn't know about deleting his stuff. Yeah, deleting it. So yeah, there was about twenty searches on his computer about that stuff. And it just really surprises me because Edward is such a kind, charming soul. It just okay, Jackson. You're sure recording it, man. There was not 20 searches. There was an endless scrolling amount of search on his computer. And he came yeah. down. You want to tell the story, Nick? The, the continuing. Come on, guys. We love it. You know that. You know that part. Well, then Marcus had the bright idea to click on one of them. Oh yeah. <laughs> And Edward came back down and he blamed it on me. Now, I, I know that's not really relevant to the story, but it, that's pretty much what happened. No, that's not what happened, bro. Ed, uh, Edward basically came downstairs and he was like, come on, guys. Come on. We all watch porn, don't we? Come on. We've all been there. So, yeah, he said that. That's a new rule I said, and Graydon, would you like to tell the story of grade seven? What's no. what's Evan's story? Corner. Oh, oh, the corner. Okay, so I can seventh grade religion. Okay, yeah, religion, religion class highlighted. Yeah, you know, Dial was in our friend group, and we were just we were sitting down. We were doing we were doing our work. Okay, and Dial brings up the brightest idea to play a spinner game. And whichever person is like it lasts last to get out, has to get up. Um, we need to dare him to do something. So what we did did it was we made people in our friend group search up very bad things in religion, like and, such um, as Edward has done. Explicit content, right? 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 Yeah. And then, nope, and then what nope. happened? So then, my computer is open, and all of a sudden I see Yal on my computer going to one search, on and doing a very bad thing. What was he doing? Jerking himself off to a video? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but when he went to that very bad video, I opened my computer, went to the search history, and. He grabbed my computer yet again on the search history and clicked it again and started laughing. But yeah, yeah. it wasn't the best yeah. of experiences. Yep. I wasn't a part of that. I can't speak for it, but you know what? It was all Edward, Edward and Dion's fault. Oh, definitely. Well, how is that Edward's fault? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> Edward, Edward wasn't even Edward named was once in this story. What? Edward was also the one who kept on like telling people to search stuff up. Let's play this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, literally. Once again, on another recent note, we're gonna go go back to summer, and we're gonna talk about Graydon. Graydon's cousin. Oh yeah, my cousin. <laughs> so basically, Gra Graydon's cousins. Graydon's cousins moved from the countryside, and when they came here, Graydon was telling us that. Jackson, you want to tell the rest? Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, we were planning to hang, hang out that day with Graydon's cousins. So we thought this was a really nice time for Nicholas to actually be with a girl. 
Even though I didn't want to be with a girl. No, 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 no. You were really hyped for this one. I was not I mean, hyped at all. So, you, you know, we met them. Everything was fun. And we're playing basketball. <laughs> Great, and they're on, the message is on the screen. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, all right, go on. So, that out, imagine that, imagine do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Keep on going, keep on going. Okay. So, we're playing basketball. And close, close is obviously, you know, oh. those feelings. And, um, yeah. Yeah, so basically, we play basketball with his cousins. That's all we got to say, right? Nick. And he, Nick slipped, slipped, and <laughs> slamming his head on the concrete. Wait, no, no, the just reason his I hat. fell was because Arshia and I were fighting after the ball in the air, and it hit me in the face, and then I fell. It was awful. If only we have oh. recorded that moment. Yeah, it was. It's pretty funny. So back to school now. Two things. Alex has has came out of the closet, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Some people may have something against it, and some people may be in support. But I guess the best thing we can do is keep our opinions to ourselves. All right, guys. Exactly. Right, Nick. You either support it or you don't. But we're not gonna say what. Exactly. And also talking about school, we gotta talk about Marco's new hair. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes. So, it looks oh. like Rick from Rick and Morty. <laughs> That's what I uh, Nick, what's your opinion on it? No. It looked better or longer. The only advantage is it makes his forehead look smaller. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nick, I had to throw it out there. Uh, okay. 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 I, I personally... I. I I'm think it's uh. Really of... I Bro, think. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Let me speak. All right. <laughs> I'm obviously not a fan of it. Um, um. I just think there's no volume on top. It's all on the bottom. It makes him look like some weird guy living in a trailer park. Has no kids, no Facts. family. Um. But yeah, yeah. Marco's hair. It's. I mean. It's gone good over the years, but still make it better. I think it's a, a step towards the right direction, you know, with with, uh, with with a little bit of help from a professional stylist like Nicholas and Massey. I think I think he's got it. Yeah, but and Mr. Parker's old barber barber chair. <laughs> oh my, yeah, Mr. Parker's old barber chair too. Uh. Graydon, what's your opinion? On Marco's hair? Yeah. Uh, Rick for Rick and Marty. Oh, right, right. I'm insane. Also, another thing. Did he dye his hair? He says it's just a hair cream. I, I don't think a hair cream would make it that dark. Yeah. He's, he, I think he's definitely dyed it. Because it's like... Four shades darker, four or five shades darker, and another thing is a new section of this show. Me and Jackson want to introduce. It's photos of the week. So basically, you send us your photos that you've taken in the week, and we'll show it <laughs> in the in the next week's episode. So you know, you came, you and your friends, good memories can be on the show. And finally, the last point we want to talk about today. The bus. The bus bust. Yeah. Nicholas. Uh, I'm not sure what you want me to say about the bus. It's other than we're trying to assert our dominance between the betas. Well, as alphas, we always need to have a bodyguard. You know. Don't want the girls coming after us or the men trying to kill us. <laughs> Trust me, so that happens a lot. We hired JJ as our bodyguard. 
and we have a contest for whoever saves our seats in the very back of the bus gets a reserve seat in the back. Yeah, Isn't so that right, boys. That's right. Yes. Um. So I hope that you respect not only the people sitting on top, but also respect us because we demand respect. Demanded it. Uh, and that's why people try and get seats for us, and we have a personal bodyguard. Yeah, it's respect. If you, if you guys um if you guys mess with us, JJ is gonna mess with you with you, and that's it for this week's episode. Bye.